Hello, today I'm replacing the dials on my T4 van. What I've got is a constantly flashing oil light. I've taken it to the garage. The garage have said my oil pressure is fine. It's actually the, an electrical fault within the dash here. So basically this all works fine, but I won't know if I have some sort of oil problem. So it's just been on my to-do list for a number of months. What I've done is I've purchased a replacement dash here. This came all the way from Lithuania. And this is actually out of a VW Passat. I believe that they're the same model. Or so I've read that it should work. We'll soon find out. Uh, T4s generally have three different generations of dash. So the first one uh, hasn't got this digital display. It's got like dials that spin around on your mileage. That's the older sort of 1990 to 96 model, I think, have that. This is the middle generation dash with the LCD display in the middle there. These are more expensive to buy, unfortunately, because people can upgrade from the first generation to the second, but you can't do it backwards because the first generation are driven by a cable. I think the Speedo is driven by a cable, whereas this is all digital. And then the third generation, which is completely different to both. I don't know if this is gonna work for certain. As you can see, I've got an analog clock here, whereas that's got a, um, a rev counter there. I've gone for obviously a diesel one. I want the glow plug thing there. I have got the, the fog light um, light is missing on my new one. I'm not too worried about that, but everything else seems to match up. And I start off, I believe, by removing this surround and this surround. So I'm going to wrestle with this for a bit. Right, this is just loose flopping around in here now. I believe it is supposed to be screwed in at the top left and the top right there, but the previous owner obviously had this out. That's a, a job save for me. All I've got to do is unplug it there and I can just literally plug that straight into the back of there and uh, we can see if it works or not. I'd probably give it about a 50% chance of working, that's how I feel, although if it doesn't work, you're not going to be seeing this. So, hey, it worked. Well, something worked. This Passat that it came out of did 339,000 kilometers. Well, okay, so that's something I'm going to address. At least something works. What I'm going to do is start up the engine, I think. Let's see if anything Happens over here, or with the glow plugs. Where are my keys? Right, let's give this a test. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, it knows how much fuel I've got. The glow plugs are now warmed up. Ah, yeah, that doesn't work, look. Never mind. Right, so as you probably saw there, the oil light there was flashing, just like with my old one. So the mechanic that I took this to, that diagnosed this as being the problem, doesn't know what he's talking about. And that's just another example of why it's good to do your own work if you can. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just take this for a little test run, just make sure the speedo works, make sure that works, just for the sake of this video really. And uh, hopefully I've shown some of you how easy it is just to change this piece of cake. And um, I'm going to get that one back in. There's no, need to, there's no need to replace it. And I'll take this to a different mechanic. Just a couple of things that I was wondering about. Um, that I looked into. The mileage on this obviously is wrong for my van. I think, or what I believe the law in the UK is that it's fine just to swap this over. That mileage doesn't have to be right. You don't have to declare anything. Um, but from what I understand, it is illegal 
to sell something um, under the false pretense that it's got a lower mileage than it has. So you have to sort of document it and provide that documentation um, of the swap over so that whoever's buying the vehicle is aware of the real mileage. That's sort of what I understand of it. Obviously this is in kilometers per hour as well because this came from Europe. Uh, what I was going to do is I was just going to see if I could crack into this and maybe swap it out for this dial. I don't know if you can just take this out and put it in there. I was going to find out, but it's not worth me pursuing any further down this path at the moment.